to write the formula for phosphorus pentafluoride. First, we need to determine what type of compound we have. So if we look at the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we can find phosphorus, that's right here, and then fluoride, that's fluorine, that's right here. So both of these are nonmetals. When we have two nonmetals, that means we have a molecular, also called a covalent compound. So we can use these rules here to write the formula for phosphorus pentafluoride. First, we'll write the element symbol for both elements. Phosphorus, that's just P. And then fluoride, that's from fluorine, that's F. Next, we'll place a subscript after each element according to its prefix. So when you look at phosphorus, there's no prefix. That means we have just one phosphorus atom. But we don't write the one by convention. We just assume it's there. Then for fluoride here, we have penta in front of it. Penta, that means five. So we have five fluorine atoms. So this is the formula for phosphorus pentafluoride, PF5. If you need help memorizing these prefixes, this table right here might be useful. This is Dr. B with the formula for phosphorus pentafluoride, PF5. Thanks for watching.